V from Casually Fragrant. Today I'll be doing a video on the perfumes I received for both my birthday and Valentine's Day. So I like to call it my V Day because my birthday is actually quite close to Valentine's Day as well. Um, there's a couple perfumes that I'm going to mention today that are already have been posted on my Instagram and a few new ones. Uh, this one here, Hedonist by Victoria Minya, I received actually in January. It was from my husband and it was going to be for my birthday, but it actually arrived pretty quickly from Lucky Scent and so I'm including it in the haul but I have been wearing it and it was actually um, in one of my videos already but I did want to mention it because I haven't really hauled it for you guys yet and it comes in this beautiful um, presentation box and it has this pan up here for you it has just like a really beautiful presentation to it. Um, the bottle itself is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the um, it shows kind of like these little crystals inside the bottle, so they look like um, crystals. Now, they're they're not like beads, but they do look kind of. Um, they don't look like they're Swarovski crystals, like they're bright, but they're not as luminescent as some of the photos show them as. I still think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the whole bottle is very heavy. Now, my only thing with this bottle is the cap. The cap is, it's like plastic, it's not glass, or it's really light, and to me, that's the only thing that if this was like a heavy cap, which I prefer, I, th I just think it would have been that much better. So that's the only thing with the bottle. Otherwise, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And the scent is amazing. So the scent for this, it's like, it's something different than what I usually have. Let me just try to position it so it stays up a bit. It's a bit different than what I usually have on my... Um, channel like it's it's sweet still but it's got some other notes in it that I usually don't tend to gravitate towards and um, so it's got peach rum osmanthus vanilla um, and a slight tobacco scent and I'm usually not drawn towards really rum heavy or tobacco scents but this is just something really different and it's absolutely gorgeous and it's a very very sexy scent. Um, and that's Hedonist by Victoria Minya. Um, I'm planning to do a full review on this, so um, stay tuned. The next scent I got was Gucci Guilty, and this is the Eau de Parfum, uh, Pour Femme, and this is the new 2019 release. It's a gorgeous scent, and one of the things that really drew me towards this, it's an oriental floral, is the violet note in it. And it's warm and sexy, and the notes are violet, lilac, mandarin, um, mandarin orange, sorry, amber, patchouli, and pink pepper. And I think it's the purple florals in this that absolutely just really make it a stunning scent for me and it really became a, uh, a top scent. I absolutely love this and um, I, I think this is something that I would probably wear more for evenings and not for daytime. I do find it quite um, heavier but definitely a great scent. And uh, the next one is this push is the brand new Viva La Juicy Baudacious. And one thing about this scent, this was also a brand new 2019 release. Let me just open up the box here. Um, the one thing, it, what I absolutely adore about this one is the bottle. So I love the Viva La Juicy packaging. Um, some of their scents are favorites of mine and this one here has fast becoming one it's got this gorgeous bow that's part of the cap and it's got the um you know the typical kind of viva la juicy emblem here and then it's got these bows here i think it's a very catchy name and definitely a really cute design so viva la juicy's baudacious is an oriental floor as well as you can see i kind of those are definitely a scent that i gravitate towards and my family when Picking out perfumes for my birthday clearly knew exactly what I liked. Um, this has notes of coconut, tonka bean, mandarin orange, um, and some white florals such as tear flower. So to me, tear flower and coconut really give it kind of a summer feel. And this is very playful and fun scent. I'm definitely going to enjoy wearing this in um, warmer weather. And it's just an uh, absolutely gorgeous bottle. 
So the next um, fragrance I got was one of the new Gucci exclusive ones, and that's the Eyes of the Tiger. Um, I have a full review of first impressions, I should say, of this fragrance that I will link down below if you're interested in seeing it. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. It's a heavy lacquered glass, um, and it has a... Let's just... A spray here um, and uh, it's a brand new 2019 release and it's got amber vanilla and labdanum and uh, once again I'll link my full review of this one down below if you're interested in seeing more of it um, so the next scent I picked up and this one was purchased from Holt Renfrew in Vancouver and this one here is from Lucky Scent and I believe this was either a late 2018 release or a new 2019 release um, and that is Blanc Boudre by Healy and once again love the presentation and the perfume sits in there like this it's a very sleek and elegant bottle and it's got the cap there and um, blank, so blank poudre, it, I got a tester of this and it really like, I, I wasn't sure what to think of it at first, but um, because of the name, like I do like powdery scents, but not when they're too powdery, but this is just gorgeous. It's a um, vanilla cotton rice musk with some florals and sandalwood. And I smell purple florals in this. And I looked online and I saw a couple other people have commented that they've also smelt, um, you know, either some violet or something in there. So I think that might be some of the florals and probably why I'm drawn to it. So when my husband smells this though, he says it smells quite medicinal and um, it, not in a bad way, but that's just kind of the scent he's getting from it. I personally don't get that at all. I get a very kind of um, clean powdery with a slight touch of vanilla and florals in there and I absolutely love it. It's definitely a clean selling fragrance and that's Blank Poudre. Um, so now on to, I'll just put those on the way, um, is Shea and Blue. So I've done a review of my, um, uh, I think it's salt, salt caramel or salted caramel from Shea and Blue. And I fell in love with the line. It's beautifully packaged. And I ended up picking up the watermelon scent as well. So here... Um, I got the 30 ml size and once again beautiful packaging and so the watermelon one it's very fresh and I'm planning to do a full review on some more Shea and London scents that I got. Um, I did get a discovery set as well which you will see shortly but I absolutely love it um, and they're such great scents and whatever the name is it really uh, translates into the scent. So stay tuned for um, hearing about this one and then the discovery set I got and these were from um these are all from Lucky Scent and uh this is Shane Blues and it's the five miniature fragrances now there are two different sets going around I think um this is from Lucky Scent and it has uh a framboise noir which is like a black raspberry and on the Shea and Blue London website they have a discovery set and they have very similar scents except that it has white peaches in it so just be aware that there are different um travel sets available um so these are the ones that I got and once again, beautifully packaged. And it came with Blood Orange, uh, Atropia Belladonna, Framboise Noir, Black Tulip, and English Cherry Blossom. And I've already smelt them all and they're absolutely fantastic. And they're all quite to what the name um, translates to. And I will be doing a review on these shortly. So stay tuned. I also received these, uh, this rollerball uh, Versace Bright Crystal. Um, this is a great scent, very fresh um, smelling, and it's a rollerball. I personally prefer when they come out with sprays than rollerballs, um, but that's just me, and I love Versace scents, and I have the Dylan Blue. I've never had Bright Crystal, so I'm excited to um, test this one out. Um, the... 
Next few ones that I have, and I'm saving kind of my one of my favorite ones for last, but the next ones that I've received, I had, um, and I picked out some of these myself actually, so they might not have exactly been gifts, but they are discovery sets, and I absolutely love discovery sets, and all of these are from Sephora, and this is the Rollerball Layering Collection for Clean. Um, once again, I wish they were sprays, but um, that's okay. Give me rollerballs. Uh, warm cotton, skin, rain, fresh linens, and the original. And beautifully packaged. So excited to try this one out. Another fragrance discovery set from Sephora I've been excited about is Ellis Brooklyn Chronicle. And um, what I really like about these ones are some of the names of the scents. So there's Fawn, Sci-Fi, Reeve, Smith, Rose, Raven, and Fable. So I just, I really like the names of the scents and they come in these little sprays. Um, definitely a great way. And uh, I like that this one's like, it's like a hard shell discovery set and definitely a great way to try out some fragrances. And the last discovery set that I have is the Collection Grand Cru by Berdeaux and it's uh, a French perfume and they come in these beautifully packaged little boxes and each one of these little boxes has a little spray in it and um so it comes in this little thing and i just love the way this is packaged like it's maybe a little excessive packaging with all of this but um aren't they absolutely gorgeous and they each have a different kind of theme to them and so I will be doing a review on these as well. And I've actually already tried out some of these and they are gorgeous. So that is a Grand Cru. Now, one of my favorite new scents that I received is by uh, Stefan Humbert Lucas, and it is Mortal Skin, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced the person's name. So, this was purchased from the perfume shop in Vancouver, and it's part of the Snake Collection. It comes beautifully packaged with a sleeve and the box, and I love presentation boxes for niche scents, and how gorgeous is that bottle? If anyone has seen the movie From Dusk Till Dawn, and there's that kind of vampire snake lady. This kind of reminds me of that with the design and it's textured. It's got kind of like rhinestones and let me just, cap's actually quite heavy, which I prefer. And it's just got a beautiful design to it. And I will be doing a full review on this scent on my channel as well. I absolutely love it. But just to give you kind of an idea, it's got really great kind of unusual scents. It's got blackberry. Um, ink, incense, and myrrh as some of the top scents in this fragrance. So it's a very deep and kind of seductive scent. And that was the last um, perfume I received for either Valentine's Day or my birthday from my very generous family. And I will link down below some of the stores that I know I received uh, these items were purchased from and some of the others um uh, since they were gifts i'm not too sure where they came from um thank you so much for watching and if there's any perfumes you saw in this video that you wanted me to do a review on first please let me know and uh if you enjoyed my video please don't forget to subscribe and like thank you